For the purposes of this crash course, I'm going to build an introductory adventure using the Pathfinder rule set. This isn't a guide to that particular rule system, so if you've never read up on Pathfinder, you should still be able to follow along just fine. As a reminder, Roll20 is system agnostic, so I could also easily design a campaign for game systems such as Dungeon World, Savage Worlds, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, or Fiasco. Below in the wiki documentation, I've created an outline for a straightforward rescue quest to toss at the PCs for session one of our game. Here's a list of things I want to set up in advance before I can actually play my game with my friends. I'm going to need something to represent my player's character miniatures, digital versions of their character sheets, set up some common dice rolls so they don't have to type them by hand, a ransom note that will serve as a plot hook, and lastly, two maps. Those being a tavern interior that the PCs will meet and later have a pub brawl in, and a sewer hideout where a bandit leader and his men lurk. First thing we're going to need to do is create a new campaign to stage all this in. After creating an account and logging into Roll20, you'll be led to your personal homepage. This is where you'll see a list of campaigns that you've either joined or created. If you're a brand new user, this place will look rather barren to start with. So let's fix this by going ahead and creating a campaign. A campaign, in Roll20's case, is a generic catch-all term for any individual game you would play in the application. It could be used for a multi-year long tabletop game, or it could be used for one-shots, card games, and board games. There's not much you need to do to get a campaign created, outside of giving it a unique name, and adding some tag identifiers so the campaign can be searchable if you plan to advertise the game in our Looking for Group system. For instance, I'm going to add tags Pathfinder, Level 1, Politics, and Throne Games, since I'm in the mood for a more backstabby, court intrigue sort of game. You can change these attributes at any point in time, so don't stress about these too much at campaign creation. We'll ignore the module bases at the right of this page for this tutorial, since I really just want a blank campaign to work from. Just keep in mind that if you purchase modules from the Marketplace, they'll be listed in this area here. Once you create your campaign, it'll automatically be loaded in the Roll20 interface. Now we can get to work putting this Pathfinder session together.